make this cute Easter Bunny. He's made with a 350. He's pretty tall and he's not too difficult to make. And what you need for this one is one white 260 or whatever color you want your Easter Bunny and a matching 350 and a little five inch white round or whatever color you want it for matching your, your bunny. So to get started, what you wanna do is take 350 balloon and inflate it with a seven finger tail. So this has five fingers and then two next to it and that's seven fingers. And you can um, inflate your balloon and then just keep squeezing the air out until you get to about seven fingers. You just kind of guesstimate. Let another little puff of air out then tie your balloon so it's not too tight while you're working with it. And what you want to do is start with a cherry tomato size bubble. So a little round bubble that about like two fingers fits on top of. It's nice and round and you want to pinch twist that. So we're going to hold our hands here and pull this knot really tight and twist it around. And then what we need is an eight finger bubble for the ear. So I'll hold eight fingers here and then I'm going to twist right up above that finger. And these are the ears. And then you bend it down and twist it together with this pinch twist. You can flip the pinch twist between the ears to keep it secure. And then we want to make a two finger bubble, a little bubble for the neck. And then another little cherry tomato sized bubble. This one next bubble is a little smaller for the pinch twist that goes right under the neck. And the next thing we're going to do is make a four finger bubble for the body right here. And then two two finger bubbles, little round bubbles. So I'm squeezing the air back up into that because my air went out and turning it around. So two little round bubbles, which about one or one and a half, two fingers fit right on top of and pinch twist those. Do it again, right like that. And then one more little bubble about the same size, but just a hair bigger. So that will be your Easter Bunny's tail. So this one's just a hair bigger, just about like that. So it's about like two and a half fingers. And twist that around. And then you want to take the rest of this balloon up and twist off his belly bubble. This could be like a little longer than this one. It just gives them a little bit of character, so it doesn't matter. So if this slides out, squeeze the air back up and just twist off a little bubble like that. Twist it around and then you're gonna twist it right into this, where this pinch twist is. So I'll show you in one second here what it looks like. And the belly bubble, you the longer one, you want that to be out in front. So we have this. This pinch twist will sit on the back of the head. And you have this. This is his belly bubble. This is the pinch twist that sits behind the ears. And these are the two pinch twists that are right at the bottom of the neck. And the long or the larger bubble in the back is his tail. And the other bubble will be his little hands. Right here, here and here. So I think I have it drawn on this one. See where his hands are? Right here with the 260 and work our way up around and then down to the feet and back up to here. So all you do is take the knot of this 260 and wrap it right around the bottom of the waist right here. And then I'm going to take three fingers and three fingers together right here and right in the middle, bend this right in the middle, wherever that bends, turn it and flick it out and that will make an elbow for your bunny. Go up here and wrap it around the bottom of the neck 
take it around one time here, the whole way around, so it doesn't come undone. And do the same thing, three and three. Bend it right in the middle here. We're gonna turn it, pluck it out, and wrap that right around. Right like that. So you have this. And if you want, so it makes sense to you, you can take this little um, five inch round, and what you do is you inflate it and squeeze the air push it all down towards the end of the balloon so it's round so you don't want it egg shaped you want it round push it all down to until it's about the size of a grapefruit tie it off and you have all this end right here to tie it around up here right at the bottom of these ears is where you wrap this in up up here wrap it around the pinch twist in the back you just take it around a couple times and just tuck it here in the front behind the bubble so you can't see it. So you have this. And now we're going to do the feet. And for the feet, see how this is getting tight? Give it a little squeeze. And for the feet, we want eight fingers. So four and four. Go right here. And give that a twist. And then put a little tiny bubble, a little cherry tomato, like a tiny cherry tomato. And... and uh, round bubble and pinch twist that right like that and then we're gonna go around one finger make a little foot and if it's getting tight give it a little squeeze go around one more little finger and I mean this should end up pretty close to where you want it and take this little end and wrap it around see I have this left over wrap this around right at the waist And you can just wrap it around these bubbles. And then put the longer, or the bigger bubble in the back for the tail. And then we'll draw his little face on, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So if this is like down a little bit, just give it a little squeeze to give it some shape so it fills out. So, okay, so to draw the bunny's face on, you take your bunny, and turn him sideways and draw a number eight. So two big circles like that for your number eight. And then you put little circles in the bottom, like sitting in the bottom. You can put a little dot in with an editing marker, like a little white shine dot if you want to. But there's this, his little eyes. And then like a little pizza pie slice right there for the nose. And then turn it sideways again and put in like a number three. Right up to there and right to there. See the number three? And then you put little whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then draw a little square up here, but just forget like the bottom part. And then right here, this connects up the middle and then give them little eyebrows right like that and then for the belly bubble you can use a pink sharpie and draw like what looks like an easter egg just to draw the belly or put the belly bubble on but i do not know where my pink sharpie went to so i have a black sharpie and on the other ones i used pink acrylic paint <laughs> because I couldn't find my Sharpie anywhere. So um, if you have a pink Sharpie, do it. If you want to paint it, that's fine too. But this is your little Easter Bunny. And I hope you enjoyed the video. That's what it looks like with pink. And I'll see you next